they have been that we only make with them. Somehow got on the staff at Bailey's Art Center. Visited the career services yesterday. Watched Longhorn football, harassed the CAs and schmooze the faculty. But now you're really, really good at being a college student. Today, you're a professional. Faculty, we're blessed to have a faculty 
who love working with young people as much as they love working with ideas. I'd like to ask faculty to stand and recognize.
On individuality and pursuing inner qualities, I refer to an excerpt of Steve Jobs' commencement address to Stanford University in 2005. Steve Jobs dedicated his life and craft to the advancement of technology, and he proved to be a master craftsman, not only the products he created, but also his genius approach to relating and communicating with people. I believe his following words are crucial for every graduate as we pursue our own individual craft. He said, Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. And don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most importantly, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Stay hungry, stay foolish. And to that, I'd like to add, stay fearless and unapologetic as you pursue your craft. On behalf of the graduates today, I'd like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all the friends and family who have traveled this weekend to be with us today. Thank you for your support, both emotionally and financially, throughout our education. Additionally, I'd like to thank all the faculty and staff of the College of Communication for providing us with such a wonderful education. The knowledge we have gained and the opportunities we have experienced are truly a gift, and we are most grateful. I am certain that we, the graduates of the 2013 Class of the College of Communication, will always still stay hungry and have the inner drive to continue along our individual journeys of pursuing our calling and honing our craft. Congratulations to class of 2013 and Papa.
We play in two schools in the New York area. Probably two good actual athletes. And I think there are a bunch of pencil neck hipster art students playing a team like St. John's, who you may know from their 28 appearances in the NCAA tournament. They must be this 87 to 41. That's exactly how good we were. When I got to Fred, I experienced something that may have happened to you as well. In my chosen field of art, I had been a star in high school. I won all the books of them. The guy I got to top of that. I got to Fred, and suddenly everyone around me was a top of that. Maybe something similar happened to you when you arrived here in the land of the 10 percenters. You may experience it again as you probably did as we were all in grad school. When everyone around is the best and the brightest, those terms quickly get redefined. Unless there's one of those beautiful freaks of nature who stand out even in, a, in that crowd, you're probably just an average Joe in the new universe. And here's where you find out that just because life can be unfair, doesn't mean life can be unfair, ultimately unjust. When your unfair advantage is taken, as far as it can, when you're on an even playing field with all the other unfairly advantaged people, the final advantage goes to whoever works hardest. And almost when you love, you get what you earn. That's life with being just. And I know UT has given you the tools for yourself, though, if you choose to use them. Again, I think back to my college days. I can't say whether I was necessarily the greatest pure talent at Fred. But I'm sure nobody at the school worked hard enough. I was hungry. I'm still hungry. I'm still working hard as a creative guy all day, every day. Several years ago, in one of his next monthly articles, Kiki Friedman, a UT grad himself, quoted an old dishwasher named Slim Dodson. Find what you like, let it kill you. That's a pretty good plan. Dishwashing couldn't do it for me, but the advertising business sure does. The hunger 